It's interesting comparing the various iterations of the Daleks' first-person perspective used in Doctor Who. In early episodes from the 1960s and 1970s, the view from the Daleks' perspective was sometimes shown, depicted using a simple circular view with no alterations to the image itself. This was usually done to emphasise a moment in which a Dalek is glaring at someone in particular, though it was also sometimes used for intense scenes where the Dalek is under attack and in distress. Towards the end of Classic Who, this first-person perspective of the Daleks was revamped. Remembrance of the Daleks debuted a brand new reticule point of view for the Daleks, emphasised by the shrill screeching of the soundtrack and the alien green overlay placed on the image. Dalek script is also present on the overlay, implying that tactical data is being fed to the creature through its electronic eye. The eye stalk also doubles as a targeting reticule for the gunstick. When Doctor Who was revived in 2005, a similar approach to the Daleks' first-person vision was implemented as the coloured overlay was carried over from Remembrance of the Daleks. This time, however, the overlay is blue instead of green, to match the colour of the Daleks' eye stalk pupil. The vision also looks less like a targeting reticule and more like a lens for a camera, even shown to be capable of zooming in and out to lock onto specific targets. This style of Dalek vision was used in many subsequent episodes and had several additional functions added. Asylum of the Daleks reveals that, like in Remembrance of the Daleks, Dalek vision can relay tactical data to the Dalek mutant in real time. Into the Dalek also reveals that the Dalek eye stalk lens is not solid, but is in fact a highly viscous liquid, perhaps explaining the eye stalk's vulnerability to projectile weapons. Several other modes of Dalek vision have also been used in the new series of Doctor Who. The new Dalek paradigm featured a completely redesigned first-person perspective to match their new eye stalk adding a more organic feel to the eye. This was not used very often, however. Twice Upon a Time shows us that the Dalek eye stalk can also double as a projector, allowing it to display tactical holograms or data files. During the 13th Doctor's era, the Daleks received another overhaul to their first-person view, allowing them to see in colour for the first time in decades, and also debuted several new features for the Dalek eye stalk such as a scan overlay and a night vision mode. The Defence Drone Daleks also have a unique eye stalk design, which appears to be more similar to the targeting reticule design from Remembrance of the Daleks, albeit with full colour vision and a red tint to the overlay. What do you think is the best iteration of the Dalek first-person eye stalk view? Do you prefer the targeting reticule or lens design? Should Daleks be able to see in colour? Let me know in the comments below.